Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Today we'll talk about Scientists identify enzyme crucial for priming cells to combat autoimmune diseases. A new study from the University of Massachusetts Amherst focuses on the rare autoimmune disorder, aplastic anemia, to understand how a subset of cells might be trained to correct the aggressive immune response that can lead to fatal autoimmune dis disorders. The research published in Frontiers of Immunology identifies a specific enzyme known as PRMT5 as a key regulator of suppressive activity in a specialized population of cells. The human immune system is remarkable, but in rare cases, like aplastic anemia, it can malfunction. In such condition, immune cells such as the Th1 cells mistakenly attack healthy stem cells in the bone marrow, disrupting blood cell production essential for fighting infection, carrying oxygen and preventing bleeding. What we want to do is to make a super suppressive cell, says Nidhi Jaden, graduate student in the Department of Veterinary and Animal Sciences at UMass Amherst and the paper's lead author. If someone is suffering from an autoimmune disorder, we can use these super suppressive cells to dampen the aberrant immune response instead of drugs. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Lisa M. Mentor, a professor of UMass Amherst, developed an innovative mouse model to stimulate human immune responses seen in aplastic anemia. This model featured engineered Th1 cell inducing the disorder, focusing on triggering iTrix cells responsible for suppressing the immune response within the unique chemical environment Th1 cells create. Th1 cell utilizes this environment to summon reinforcements exacerbating the attack on bone marrow stem cells. The findings reveal that the iTrix were very effective at reducing the Th1 mediated immune response in the animal model of aplastic anemia. After close observation, it was discovered that iTrix trained in the Th1 like chemical environment increased production of a specific enzyme called PRMT5, which in turn blocks the expression of another specific gene, SERT1, that destabilizes eye tracks and makes them less effective. No one before us has shown that PRMT5 plays such an important role in mediating the immune suppressive capacity that eye tracks display when they are generated under condition found in a Th1 mediated immune response, says Minter. We are one step closer to finding the super suppressive cells that can replace drug therapies. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.